Neil Dexter put in the best bowling performance of his career on the first day of the LV County Championship match between Middlesex and Lancashire at Lords, but the visitors fought hard with the bat to keep the game well balanced at this early stage. After winning the toss, Middlesex would have hoped to make the most of the early conditions with the ball, but instead it was nearly a run out that earned the first wicket. That came in just the third over of the match, but Paul Horton then tried to calm things down at the top of the order, something he is often very good at, of course. But this time he was out for 12 in the eighth over, trying to remove his bat too late. He could only deflect a short ball from Toby Rowland-Jones into the hands of Ollie Rayner. So instead it was left to Lewis Reese and Carl Brown to try to see off as much of the new ball as they could. Under overcast skies in North London, there was plenty for the bowlers to enjoy on a pitch where, if like the other matches played here this season, batting would only get easier as the match progressed. Reese reeled off 150 after another last summer, but he's found things much tougher in his sophomore season. He edged Tim Murta behind to go for 23 at 47 for 2. Stephen Finn started this game as the country's leading wicket-taker in the LV County Championship and had Rayner not dropped Ashwell Prince, the tall quick would have had 26 victims in his pocket so far this summer. Dexter was brought on at the nursery end as early as the 19th over and in his fourth with the ball he removed Brown who dragged an outswinger back onto his stumps after making 25. The former Middlesex captain then struck again in his next over Prince going LBW for 17 and 83 for 4. Murta then returned to the attack only to have Josh Butler dropped by Rayner before the batsman had caused too much of a nuisance. He was on 13 at the time. It was his partnership with Luke Proctor which started to balance this game up once more. First inning scores of note have not been easy at the home of cricket so far this year and so Lancashire knew that in spite of the four wickets falling before the lunch break they were still handily placed, even more so as Butler and Proctor saw out 20 overs together, in which they added 55 runs for the fifth wicket. It was Dexter again who ended the partnership, Proctor edging to Rayner, who looked to be a relieved man when he held on this time. Proctor was gone for 19 and 138 for 5. Butler's innings now took on even more responsibility. For the most part, he dealt with the pressure well, as he and Tom Smith began to forge another handy partnership. Butler has made a decent enough start to this important summer for him. This drive through extra cover took him to his second half century of the championship season. He would needed 85 balls for this one, with back-to-back -back boundaries, taking his tally of fours to eight. He now needed to keep going. He shouldn't have been able to do that, but he was dropped again as a leading edge off the dangerous Dexter was put down by Owen Morgan at mid-wicket. Middlesex were not having their best ever day in the field. This drop wasn't costly, however. On 59, Butler gave Dexter his fourth success with a loose drive on the up to Chris Rogers, who made no mistake in the covers this time. At 181 for six now, Lancashire were not out of the woods and had Roland Jones won this appeal for an LBW against Glen Chapel, then perhaps they would have stayed surrounded by trees. As it was, Chapel survived and he and Smith, an all-rounder who's made a very solid start to this season with both bat and ball, were able to frustrate the home attack further as they added 41 more runs for the seventh wicket, which took the total to all the twos. Chapel attacked the bowling for his 26 runs and it was an attacking shot which brought about his downfall as Roland Jones held on in the deep to give Finn his first wicket of the day. So it was now down to Smith to keep the innings going and to get his side above 250 for the first time this season in a first innings. That the left-hander did and he also managed to secure his third championship 50 of the campaign. This one had come off 118 balls with six fours and it was a knock which was giving his side a decent first innings total after all. Certainly, his side would have been pleased with their work. Perhaps not as pleased as Dexter, who ended Kyle Hogg's first innings of the summer with an LBW which gave the bowler just the second five-wicket haul of his career. Four balls later, he had a sixth for the first time ever, and then Finn bowled Smith for 59 with what was the last ball of the day. Dexter ended with the exceptional figures of 6 for 63 from 26 overs. He rarely bowls that many in an innings, 
as Lancashire were all out for 266, a total they may well be happy with. How happy will depend on how they go with the ball themselves on day two.